Hello, you are welcome back to this training series. In this particular video, I want to teach you how to install the NetBeans IDE and the WAM server. Don't forget, you will have downloaded two tools from the site www.oracle.com or you search it in the Google and you are going to see a very good link in order to download these particular applications. So now let's get started. I have downloaded my own, so it is very easy for me to install. So I go to my folder inside my computer, my drive D. I'm just trying to locate where I store my own software I downloaded from the site. So you can store your own on a desktop or any particular place or directory that you feel like. So you go to your information, programming, Java, I have my softwares here. So I have the NetBeans ID 7.1.2. I have the JDK and I am still going to locate where my WAM server folder is so that I can also install the WAM server. So I assume I've installed the JDK on the system so I don't need to install the JDK again. So I'll just install the NetBeans and the WAM server. You double click this. Just wait for it to respond. Click on yes. So it's starting to install. Click on next. You accept the license. Click on next. You accept the terms. Click on next. Click on next, click on next, click on next, and the installation will start fully. Just wait for some time, and very soon I'm going to pause this video so that the installation will end on its own, and thereafter I'll proceed to install the WAM server. So let me just pause, and we we'll meet at the end of this installation. Very simple. As I've told you, so you can see the installation is now at 90%. About to finish installation. Now stay tuned. A bit more we are about to finish the installation of the NetBeans IDE 94% Wow, 100%. Then you click on finish. So we now have the NetBeans IDE installed on our system, and you can locate that on the desktop. So let's just view our NetBeans. You can see this is the NetBeans IDE. Now, the next thing we want to install is the WAM server. Let me just get the location where my WAM server software is located. Go to drive D, that's on my own system. So you can store it anywhere you like on your system, don't forget. I think I store it in the web. Go to PHP. Under my software. And this is my WAM server, just double click. Click on yes. Next, you agree the license. Click on next. So the folder already exists. Would you like to install to another folder anyway? Okay, there's a particular folder called the WAMP already in my drive C. So let me just go and remove that. 
so they can create a new one WAMP shift delete permanent delete the folder can I continue with my installation next click on create quick launch and create a desktop icon next install and this installation will not take much time less than a minute just wait a little bit stay tuned can you just close this The installation is about to finish. It's about to finish. Click on open. Next. Click on finish. Click on yes. So let's try to open the NetBeans on the WAM server to see if actually we've got the installation right. So this is the NetBeans ID here on your desktop. Double click. And you are going to see a quick launch of the NetBeans ID is 7.1.2. That's the addition. Since this is the first time of opening the NetBeans ID here, it will take a bit of time. So just wait. Don't panic, don't fear. So this is the home page of the NetBeans ID here. And uh, we have three columns on the home page. You can take a tour, try a sample project, what is new about this particular ID here, the community corner. Then we have the demos and tutorials here. You can just see them at your fingertips. And if you choose to click this, then the home page goes away. If you want to click a new project, you come to new projects. And some of these things, we are still going to discuss them in the next video. So all I just want to be sure is that the NetBeans ID is correctly installed and it can now be opened. I can close it back. So the next one we want to test is our one server, you double click on the desktop, click on yes, and you see the green icon up here, you can see one server is offline. In order to be able to access our, our one server, come here, click on PHP my admin, click on it, you can see. There's an error generated forbidding. You don't have permission to access PHP admin on this server. Now sometimes this error will be generated, and that sometimes this error might be due to the new operating system you are using, you are using such as the Windows 8 system. So if this error occurs, very simple to fix. Just close this. Just come to the drive C come to WAMP alias then you open phpmyadmin.conf double click you can open with notepad now you see to get access to phpmyadmin from outside replace these lines it means anywhere you see these three lines you put these two lines so come down I've seen these three lines so I'm going to remove it and put the two lines there's the two lines, you bring it, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, you must make sure you remove this hash, unless it will not work. You can now close, and it will ask us to save, so we can save automatically what we have just configured. Come here, you close, and you come and restart the warm server, 
click on the green icon here don't forget click restart all services and you see come and click here again php my admin you will see that the php my admin can now open so this is my home page of the php my admin i can create my database here and put a lot of tables in my database so in the next class we are going to learn how to we're going to learn how to create the, the database do a lot of things and uh, you are going to enjoy this particular series so stay tuned bye bye thank you very much